why people keep playing like it's a joke out here. Like my last video, I told y'all, it's serious. I don't know if y'all understand this, if y'all taking heed to the signs and the warnings, the things that's going on. It's serious out here. This 19, like, man, come on now. Let me go ahead and break this down for y'all real quick. If y'all been following me from the very beginning of me in these YouTube streets on the main platform, the dude platform, and when I first came on, I told y'all I was a death investigator. Baby, people was like, oh, she a death investigator. She don't have no education. She just be lying to snake. Nah, I'm actually a death investigator for. So when people expire, pass, supposedly from, it's my job to go and find out that they really died from that. One of my YouTube channels that I had, along with this one, I was showing proof, which I'm going to show a little bit today to make my point. But they shut my channel down. I didn't get no warnings. I didn't get no nothing. I was locked out of Facebook. I don't even get on Facebook no more because I got tired of arguing with people on there about factual information that I'm seeing every day. And I was locked out Instagram all the way up until February of this year. That's why I have more than one page. Like, y'all, come on now. When people are telling y'all some stuff, like, it's <laughs> the signs are there. Like, people shouldn't even have to say, y'all. I told y'all, stock up. Prepare to be inside. If you ain't taking it, prepare to be inside. Now, Haiti. My son's family is from Haiti. They speak French. I don't know about all that voodoo stuff. Don't come on here with all that. I don't have time for that today. The thing about it is, his people from Haiti. So I'm kind of well in tune of what goes on out there. Their people say they're not, they're not mandated. They're not doing all that. They're chilling. All of a sudden, the president gets assassinated. First, they said it was the United States Drug Corporation, whatever. I, I can't think of the name offhand because I'm upset right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Then they come back talking about some though. It was basically some, some thugs, right? So they take the president out, which is the person that said that they don't have to be involved in that. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, they get an earthquake and a tropical storm in the same week. I need somebody to wake up and understand what's going on. We at a point in, in life where either you get down or you lay down. Point blank period. Oh, you don't want to take the then you're not gonna be allowed to go into the stores. You're not gonna be able to allow, you're not gonna be allowed to do anything until you do what we tell you to do. Now, this is my take on it. The job, the fit that I work in before came along or outbreaks. If let's just say chlamydia. If 15 people in one city got chlamydia all at the same time. Then we need to go figure out where, where this came from. We need to trace all these people down, contact tracing, who started it, how can we slow this outbreak down, blase, blase. Now with the situation, everybody was in the uproar. Look, my stuff going off right now. Everybody was in the uproar, they didn't know what to do. We had to change the systems up. So the department I started off working with was contact tracing for, if somebody has it, then I need to go contact everybody that they've been in contact with. I decided to switch to death investigations. Reason being was because the numbers that they were saying that people had was lies. When it got time for me to go back and pull medical records, these people had never been to these facilities and half these facilities weren't even in existence. They weren't even real with some made up stuff. So I said, well, I don't got time. When I came over to the death investigation team, it's pretty much similar. The numbers, they're lying. When I review cases, these, they have one situation where a man was having a heart attack. His daughter rushed him to the hospital. She pulls up in the parking lot, she runs in there, she say, my, my, my dad, I'm sorry, it's her dad. My dad can't breathe. I think he might be having a heart attack. The people rushed out to the car to come get him. When they got him out the car, he stood up, he died. How do I know this? Because it's all in the report. They're telling me this man died from, I'm like, how? Who did a test on him? They said that he, passed in the parking lot when they rushed him inside he had no vital signs who did a test on a dead person so now i'm up here fussing with with my team leads and our managers and supervisors and, and they, they, they said that they died from they have the test that's what it is if y'all telling me that he had a heart attack that sounds to me like he died from a heart attack correct me if i'm wrong 
Or maybe, maybe what, what y'all, some of y'all be saying is, I don't know what I be talking about. I'm just dumb and just, maybe that, that, that would kind of make sense on that, on that note, right? Come on now. They've been lying. Once again, before I was locked out of Facebook, this is the reason why I got off of Facebook. Another thing that got me was the name itself. 19. I said, it sounded like some type of operation. Lo and behold, when I log into my system, it says operation 19. Then, now, they got this Delta variant going on. They're trying to switch up, update our computers and our systems right now to differentiate between the regular one and the Delta one. Delta is also an operation. Look it up for yourself. Look it up. So, again, let's go back to Haiti. Somewhere down the line in Haiti, they understood that somebody was telling the truth about their numbers in these cases. Do I think it's real? Do I think they have strings out there? Yes. My belief is that it's in the air. Bing, look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. That's not the same clouds that we used to fly kites in. That's not the same clouds we used to lay down and look up and see the clouds making shapes in order to look like an elephant. That's not the same clouds. It's too many of them. And they're too low. Why is it raining so much in certain places? Why is it raining? It's... August, why are we getting so much rain like it's April showers? Then, I'm going to show a video, y'all, of uh, th these news people walked up and, and trying to talk to the president about the Haiti situation. And his Haiti, whole, his whole body language told me that there's some fuck shit going on. ...on the White House lawn. What's your reaction, Mr. President, to the ha Haitian president being assassinated? You need a lot more information, but it's, it's just it's very worrisome about the state of Haiti. First of all, he's backing up. That let me know that you're backing out of a situation. That's what your body language is telling me. The way that he started, look at the way he walked over there. It's like, they was like, hey, can we have a word with you? He was like, oh shit, come on, let's go see what's going on. Then when he get there, he asked him, he's like, oh shit, no, I was not prepared for this. Nobody programmed me on what the fuck to say. I need people to wake up. I'm glad, let me tell you, let me give you a little backstory real quick. Me and my mom was very close, right? When my mom died, nobody was there for me. The people that I was there for in life, they were not there for me. Therefore, in 2018, I've been saying fuck people. Now that this situation is going on, it's really fuck people. I couldn't even go to my people's house. They were like, oh no, you got to have a mask on. You got to do this. You got to do that. Because I work in the field. And it was like, oh no, you work with those people. God damn it, nigga, what the fuck? So because I'm out here being a hero, saving lives, I can't come to your house, nigga. And I get tested every motherfucking Monday, but I can't come over. It's been fuck people. Now, I got people talking about some, oh, did you get the, oh, well, in order to come here uh, to do this, oh, because we're going on a girl's trip and, you know, we want everybody to be, ah, uh, well, bitch, just shoot me motherfucking dead because I'm not doing it. I do not take immunizations. My children don't take them. They have a paper when they go to school, when they ask for immunization records, I pull out my fucking notarized paper that says, no, my children are not allowed to motherfucking take shots. Don't ask me about it. It's not going to fucking happen. I had both of my fucking children natural. Would I ever do it again? Lord knows. I don't know, bitch. Just shoot me in my motherfucking back. Just numb everything. I don't fuck with that shit. But I'm telling y'all to say, I don't, I don't fuck with shots. Like I was saying on one of my YouTube channels, I, I might have the video somewhere. I did a video and it was called, who that baby got shot? And in the video, I'm talking about why the fuck are we so in a rush and so excited? As soon as you have a baby, be like, oh, yeah, because he, he going for his first his first shots. Why? Why is that an okay thing? This is my problem. I'm very protective over my fucking children. My children are not allowed to eat at certain people's houses. My children are not allowed to eat certain things. So if I'm careful about what they're taking into their body, and I'm very mindful of what they're watching, I'm very mindful of what's going in their motherfucking spirit as well. Why the fuck would I allow a stranger to inject something into my child that I have no idea what the fuck it is? I don't know what the fuck is in that shot that you're shooting up in them. They say immunizations is to, they, they, they inject you with it to get your body immune to it. Well, what the fuck? Why is measles still a thing? Why is chicken pox still a thing? Why the fuck do we not have a fucking cure for, for, for fucking AIDS and herpes just yet? Come on, I need somebody to make this shit make motherfucking sense for me. But yeah, we got time to sit, sit online, girl. Hold on, let me get myself together. 
We got time to sit online and argue with motherfuckers. We got time to go. I don't have time for that shit, bitch. I am preparing for motherfucking war. This is war. This is a physical fucking war for me and it's a spiritual fucking warfare. Terminated. The, these fucking robots. Every, look at all these movies that they came out with, with these children. Number one, they talked about mermaids. Everything's about fucking mermaids and water. I'm going to get on that video another time when I go in depth about what it's like being from fucking wilderness. It's surrounded by fucking water. Two, every, all the past movies that's been coming out, been having to do something. Let me fuck y'all head up. And I did a video about this too. The shit pissed me off because they took my shit and I hope they don't take this one. Listen to me. Remember back in the day they said that they would put chips inside our hands. You'd be able to buy stuff, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Right? Listen. Everybody thought they were somebody else going to put a chip inside their fucking hand. Nigga, let me tell you something. I remember being 13 years old. And I understood that the chip in your hand was a motherfucking cell phone. Why the fuck the cell phones get popular? Every time I ask that question, people be like, uh, 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 Hurricane Katrina. And you be like, well, Hurricane Katrina didn't get... Yes, the fuck they did. Let me tell you why. Because before Hurricane Katrina, everybody had motherfucking house phones. Everybody had house phones, right? After, during Katrina, that's when they started issuing out full stamp government cell phones everybody got one because they wanted to get in touch with their fucking people the red cross phones the fema phones they wanted to get in touch with their people my space blew the fuck up why because we wanted to stay in touch with our fucking people people wanted to know what the fuck was going on that's how social media became popular that's how these chips became in our fucking hands because now we got our phones and we can do everything in the fucking world with them that's the chip in your fucking hand ai technology that's what i was about to say all these movies that have been coming out these robot movies and shit for these fucking kids is because they're training their fucking mind they're trying they're, they're getting their mind used to this so now guess what when a situation came out what the fuck did they do they switched everybody to virtual so now the children are forced to learn about this fucking technology how to use laptops and um tablets they're forced to why the fuck is a, a fucking a four-year-old child in fucking pre-k having to get on a fucking laptop having to use the fucking internet and by now they know how to work it why is that because they plan shit a pandemic they plan shit cause and effect if we do this this is going to happen haiti you don't want to buy without fucking laws you want to go against the fuck we saying and proving us to be fucking liars we're gonna take the fucking boss man out Oh, then you motherfuckers want to come and say that the United States drug enforcement has something to do with the fucking president being taken out, bitch. But we've been knowing that the government been assassinating people a long time ago. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, come on. Nah, I ain't going to say Malcolm X. That, that's another story. But listen, you going to say that we did that? Oh, no, bitch. Now you're going to be fucking punished. Have an earthquake and a tropical storm in the same fucking week. Fuck you. Die, bitch. And I guess what? Let me show you what they going to do. Because of that fucking weather and that earthquake, what they gonna say? Oh, the cases went up. I'll do a Why video on say? this as well. How they signed a fucking contract that says that the news is able to lie to you. They're able to put out false information. That's why I don't fuck with the news because I don't like being fucking lied to. I'm the type of person, I don't believe nothing unless I fucking see it. You have what you see and none of what the fuck you hear. Attention to the signs in the sky. Yay. Yeah. I say that shit for my fucking soul, nigga. Pay attention to the signs in the sky. Pay attention to the time. Not, oh, what time it is? What time the fuck are we living in? Grow the fuck up. Nigga, not playing with y'all no more. It's going to be a time where, nigga, you boy have to shoot some shit down. Let's know about this movie called Focus with Will Smith. I know about it because I'm in the movie. Anyhow, in the fucking movie, they show this nigga the same fucking numbers and shit all day long. And the end of the movie, they come and I'm like, how did you know I was going to pick these numbers? Because I showed it to you over and over and over again. The same thing they doing with this, this gay, oh Lord, J gay agenda. I don't have nothing against gay people. But you keep showing this to my children over and over. I had to teach my oldest son, who's now seven, when he was three years old. I said, why the fuck all these cartoons we watch? They always fucking playing with a nigga booty. They always pulling somebody fucking pants down. They got on fucking girl drawers or white drawers with red hearts on it. That nigga at three years old thought I was fucking crazy. But now at seven, when we're watching TV, they keep doing it. Cartoons, regular TV. And we just look at each other like, mm, there you go. Because if I show it to you enough times, if you hear it enough times, you're going to fucking believe it. Control the fucking masses. Stop being fucking scared of these people. As my